social media. <laughs> oh, man. A wonderful place, isn't it? Social media makes it so easy for you to even compare your life to somebody. You're scrolling, just scrolling. Maybe you like TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. You on Snapchat, wanna show your life off. You know, it could be a blessing and it could be a curse. And that's what all things, we all know that. You see people showing off milestones, you know, success. And you may be looking at it like, man, I wish that was me. Or he think he all that, she thinks she all that. It's always gonna be those type of people out there. Here's the thing though, what you see online is only part of the story. It's not the whole thing. You do realize people only show you their parts of their life that they want you to see. It's not everything. You know, social media can be fabricated. I think people tend to forget that. You don't see the late nights. You don't see the failures. You don't see the setbacks. A lot of people won't show you that. A lot of people won't tell you that. You're comparing the behind the scenes work, kind of like a movie. When they show the credits and then, you know, the little bloopers, that's kind of what you see. That's what the internet is. It's basically someone else's highlight reel on social media. Everyone's journey is different. I really hate when people compare their journey to somebody else because what somebody else is doing isn't your journey. And it's that way for a reason because you have to figure out what your journey is. You have to figure out what your purpose is. What I'm doing, a lot of people can't do. What you're doing, I can't do. That's just how it's written, bro. Your journey is for you. We all have a unique path. We all have a certain road that we have to go down. My road can't be yours because yours has different things that intertwine with you. It's all about your own timing. That's how it goes. Just because someone seems to, I don't know, have it all or seems like they have it all or has something that you want doesn't mean they are more talented, more deserving than you. It doesn't mean none of that, bro. It just ain't your time yet. And I've always looked at things like this, like I've been on YouTube for so long. I've been grinding with the brand for so long and just got my first sale. I just started, you know, getting a little momentum with what, I, what, I, with what I'm doing. It's all about timing. It didn't happen overnight. You have to work. It just means your chapter is different, all in all. Your journey is your own. It's easy to feel behind when you see these things on social media. It's easy to feel that way. You see it every day, you know, especially if you're following a certain person, you're gonna see it. When you're constantly looking at other people's journey or other people's progress, but the progress isn't always in your favor or I don't know. A lot of people measure their like progress and people's followers. A lot of people look at likes and views and like the whole thing with social media behind it. It is sad. All in all, it's sad. Sometimes it's the the quiet steps forward when you're on this journey, on your journey that count. It's not all about what he or she has because you don't got it yet in due time. The key is staying focused. 
So stop comparing yourself to others when you can go do the same thing they're doing. When you lock in on your journey. But you keep comparing yourself when you looking on social media. Oh, he got this. He just dropped new chain. He, she, stop. Lock in with what you got. For real. Competing with everybody isn't going to help you. Downplaying somebody else's success is not going to help you. It's not. You need to start looking at your situation and stop competing. That way you can get closer to your breakthrough. Whether you see it or not, if you're working right now towards what you want, you're getting progress. It's slow. You may not see it. Trust me. I know, but you are getting progress. You wanna know why? Because you started. You're beating half the competition right now. There's still somebody sitting there contemplating on whether they should do it or not. They always need somebody else's opinion on whether they need to do something. No, do it. And if it fails, cool, try something else. That's the whole thing about this life thing is that, okay, you might want to go do something and it fails, but you might be better at something else that could take you where you want to be at. May not be what you really wanted to do, but if you're good at it, it could take you there to where you really want to do. You, you get what I'm saying? It's all about timing. It's all about timing. When, when you're busy looking at someone else's whole itinerary it knock you off your progress hands down and knock you off of everything that you're trying to do because you're looking at someone else's success and progress celebrate your own progress you know i get all the time people talking about how do i get on youtube how do I start YouTube? I wanna, I wanna do YouTube. Okay, I click your channel. You don't have no videos up there, bro. Why? How do you wanna make content or be a YouTuber, content creator, and you don't create? You don't create at all. There's not one video on your page. Go make that channel, bro. Go make that channel, sis. Because it could take you places. I'm telling you, you just never know. But you haven't even done none of that yet. Because you're too busy comparing and trying to compete. The only person you should compete with is yourself. That's who you should be competing with. You should be competing with yourself. That way you can better yourself. I do it every day. Every day. When I don't feel like posting, what do I do? Still post. Sick or not. And I feel sick right now. But I'm going to still keep grinding. You get what I'm saying? I, I had to sit back because I see that too much where... People are on social media downplaying other people because they got what they want. And the thing about life is that this is a marathon, bro. It, it's, it's legit a marathon. Like, it's no limit or age or specific time that you need to get there. You know, it's not a sprint. You just got to lock in and hustle. There's just no way, other way around it. 
you stressing out, you still compare where others aren't even focused on you. Focus on you. Focus on you. Trust your process. And when it's your time, you will know. You'll realize that everything you went through, every obstacle, every situation, because I'm learning that to this day, bro. Like, even with me, every situation I done been through was to prepare me for the next step in what I was doing. You get me? Um, you got to put that phone down, bro. That that phone is killer. For real. That phone make... Honestly, when you get a phone and then you get on the internet, certain people use the internet to become a whole different person other than what they are. You know, some people use the internet for good, some people use the internet for bad. It's just what comes with it. The internet is a, it's definitely a weird place to be in. It's definitely a weird place to be on, especially when you are on a platform. It's very weird. But the internet can send you down a, a bad spiral that you don't need to go down. And that's one of them. When you compare yourself, when you start venturing off into other things on the internet that you don't got no business to be looking and, and searching for, it'll send you to a, a, a spiral. And you ain't even gonna know what happened. So I just say this to say, this phone, Y'all got to put it down sometimes. You got to put that phone down sometimes, for real, bro. It ain't worth it. It ain't, it ain't worth it.